the user. At first I was doing everything because I was in love and I loved her. And then after about the first two, three months, I started realizing she's doing nothing but use, using me because I actually watched this podcast of Andrew Tate talking. Tracy, I can't There's a believe reason what I just that women live say. longer, Mark. Let me tell you, it is because we are stronger yes. and we are happier at the end of the day than most men, and that yes. is factual, and you know it. When when men are married to women who scream like you, they just want to die sooner. When men are married to women who scream like you, they just want to die sooner. Welcome to slavery. No thanks. I already had a wife. Perfect. Oh! A million years teach my girls that they have to grow up to be reliant on a man as you can well imagine I would never teach my son well, that's that he should wonderful. be attracted but Tracy you're the same whoop, one whoop. you're the same one who bragged that she's so strong and so tough and doesn't need a man's money yet you're taking alimony I have three children okay, Mark who Mark you know what, so Mark, but you don't need a man's a money this man walked and stepped inside that studio and he chose violence Perfect. I can do this all day. This man straight roasted this woman for five minutes like a rotisserie chicken you see at Costco. And he slow cooked her at 45 degrees Fahrenheit. This woman really said, I'm strong and I'm independent. I don't need a man. I would never in a million years teach my girls that they have to grow up to be reliant on a man as you can. But yet, she depends alimony from a man. Making alimony. I oh. have three children! Okay. Gotcha, bitch! This is why I do not believe anything that bleeds five days straight and cannot die. Because it is factually impossible to get any sense or logic out of a feminist when their logic is one plus one is potatoes. Gentlemen, this video is great advertisement for why a man should be single forever. And he was talking about how women use men, and that's when my eyes opened, and that's when I started putting the pieces to the I puzzle. could never use you. You don't drive a Benz. You don't drive a Monty. Why do I need to drive you a Benz? Drive a Enemy cream gobbler detected. Cream gobbler opinion rejected. This is a certified hood classic. We are about to mark to this day. To this day today that says women become unhappy as they get older well the flip side men get happier as life goes on now the researchers a couple of economists by the way they say it happens when we each turn 48 and of the major factors um, coming down it's all about money now what's that all about we're gonna debate it Mark Rudolph is a no-nonsense man and Tracy Burns our Fox Business reporter joins me to tell us what's really going on Tracy is this true? Come on. I mean, come on. All right, first of all. Don't get me Mark, started. Because I know you've missed me, Mark. First of all, this study was conducted by mostly I men. Can't tell you how and much. when men conduct anything, they talk about their finances because men judge themselves by the, the size of their wallet. Toys, dare I say. So, you put all your toys together in a parking lot and it makes you happy. If they were to ask other questions in this study about spirituality, about the other aspects of our lives, that women would have taken over. I mean, first of all, a woman hits her sexual prime at 35. Things get much better for us. Hey, I'm 35. This is good for me. All right, uh, Mark, what, I mean, all right, go nuts, because I know you're going to go nuts. Well, first of all, you're presuming that, that unhappiness in women begins in middle age. I'd say it starts when uh, she's a little girl, when she's taught that happiness derives from shoes, jewelry, boob jobs, oh, and pedestals. Lord. And what's interesting, oh, come on, Alexis, and then you have boys who are taught that they're supposed to make girls happy. I want to get off topic for five minutes because this bit is very important. You guys see how society 
has programmed and taught men that it is your duty, that it is your job to make a woman happy. So if all women are so different, why do we have the expression, know how to treat a woman? Wouldn't that imply that there's like a universal nature that all women exhibit? No, treating a woman right is common sense. Yeah. Don't treat her like she's not human. But society never teaches a woman how to make a man happy. But the truth of a matter of fact is, is that a woman can never truly be satisfied or happy. So he pursued me a year prior, prior to this. To, yes. Right. And so he kept trying and kept trying and he would see me out. Why didn't, within that year he pursued you, what made you not want him? I thought he was too nice. I thought I would walk all over him and I was going. I thought he was too nice. She thought wrong. Oh, I did. I thought wrong. I don't know what it is. There is this thought out there, this, this desire out there. I want me a soldier. I want me a hard dude. I want me this and that and the other thing. And those are the worst guys to get because they're not it's nice true. to you. It's and true. you get a nice guy and you're worried like, I, I don't want him. Why wouldn't you want a nice guy? I mean, they always say nice guy finish laugh. That's because women are foolish. I agree. Because a man can give her the whole world and she will still find a way to bitch and complain why you didn't give her Pluto, Uranus, or the stars. Women on average experience more negative emotion than men. So 75% of divorces are initiated by women and women are more unhappy than men. And so they're more prone to depression and they're more prone to anxiety disorders. They're more prone to suicide attempts, although men commit suicide more often because they use guns, because men tend to be more violent even towards themselves. Men, men, men are very decisive on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, yes. By yeah. nature, once their minds made yeah, up. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. So, yeah. so women are higher negative emotion. Mm. And, and so why? Well, it kicks in at puberty. And so why would women become more sensitive to threat at puberty? Well, let's figure it out. It's pretty straightforward. They're at a physical disadvantage. Because mm -hmm. boys and girls can wrestle and fight, but men and women can't. Mm -hmm. So men are way stronger, especially in the upper body. And so women hit men more than the reverse, mm -hmm. by a lot. Yeah. So you might say, well, are women or men more violent? Well, if it's just blows struck, women win. But if it's blows that land, yeah. right, that okay. leave damage, yeah. Right, exactly. So women get comparatively weaker physically. So mm -hmm. the world's more dangerous, okay? Then they're more vulnerable sexually. Right, then they have to take care of infants. Mm -hmm. So they're tilted towards more threat detection. And so that makes them maybe suboptimally happy when you think about them as individuals. Because they're always aware of all of these threats. threats. So it, it's, yeah. it's harder for them to switch off. Whereas yeah. when I walk down the street, I'm not worried yeah, in right. the same way. Yeah. Of course. With that being said, Patrice O'Neill said it best and God rest his soul. He once said, a happy man is a happy woman and a happy relationship. But a happy woman is a miserable man and a miserable relationship. Remember gentlemen, it is not your job to make a miserable woman happy. I was on the radio two weeks ago in Greensboro, North Carolina, and the host related a story he overheard his son and daughter talking. So brother goes to sister and says, how come you always have money and I don't? And she says, that's simple. I have a boyfriend and you have a girlfriend. The fact of the matter is, boys are where, taught that they're supposed you? to make in women America? happy. Where, where no, no, you? he's actually living in the dark ages. This is that. I'm not living in the dark ages. This is reality. And if either of you women has ever dated women, you would know what I'm talking about. But you pretend that you don't know what I'm all talking right, about. All right, Mark, let's so what's get happening back to in middle age? Let's happen in what's happening in middle age here is that women who bring 70% of divorces are divorcing the men that they never wanted to marry to begin with, and so now that's what's making the men happy. That, that's interesting because uh, we, we control the household spending, don't we? Because we, we, we're working more than ever. The biggest problem in society today is that they are trying to divide us because what the Matrix has brainwashed all of our women is that she needs to find a good career during her 40 years, and she needs to make six figures. If you're not gonna have children, if you're not gonna have children, what are you gonna do with your lives? God, if I'm not gonna have children, um, travel, just pursue anything that makes me happy, um, try to make money. I love traveling, so I would probably just- Drink, co drink cocktails on a beach. Okay, next. <laughs> <laughs> About the same thing, like travel, focus on my career, things like that. Like my career will become my baby. What about, uh, what about you? Um, I honestly just wanna, get right into my career.
Okay. That's pretty much it. Right, what do you want to do in life? Um, right now, so I go to the University of Miami. I'm majoring in, in interactive media. What I want to do with that is uh, build virtual reality simulators for the military. And then I'm also minoring in motion pictures. I'm interested in acting and shit like that. Yeah, Miss Cuba, what about you? Do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, I plan on becoming a doctor. So I'm just my career. Your career. Okay. I'm passionate about it. So a life without children is, is vapious and it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters, but the truth is that your job will fire you out of whim and not give That's a second, right. don't give a solitary That's shit. So and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself, and all your friends have grandchildren in this beautiful life, and you're sitting there by yourself. Do you think the fact that you can afford a few extra Gucci bags is gonna genuinely make you feel happy? I was at my grandmother's 93rd birthday. I looked there, my grandmother had nine children, because there was my father and, and eight more. They all had a bunch of kids, blah, blah, blah. I stood there and I looked at my 93-year-old grandmother, and there was a room, a whole room full with maybe 70 people that came from that one woman. Isn't that remarkable? Yeah, that nice. nobody cared about her career. Nobody asked what job she did. Nobody asked how many times she went to the club. Nobody asked if she had, had time to go to festivals. No, you had 70 sentient beings, including myself, full of life from one woman who dedicated herself to being a mother and, 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 a, good, and a good wife. That is beautiful. And if you sit here and genuinely think that you're gonna work your ass off through your fertile years and by the age of 54, you're not gonna be suicidal alone with a cat then you're dumb. <laughs> the that, happiest really women on this. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the really happiest true. people on earth. I guarantee it. Your, your mothers, true. ask your own mother, do you nah. regret having me? Literally. She's going to say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. So now you're going to sit here and you're going to end your own bloodline? All your ancestors were out there surrounded by saber-toothed fucking tigers <laughs> trying to survive on the streets out there in caveman days just to get to the final end where we have all the medical care and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to, have a fucking, <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Everything everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. You're a selfish fuck. Fuck that, you should all have kids. But the truth of a matter of fact is, men do not care about a woman's money. Why? Because she's not going to share the pot of gold with us anyways. You selfish son of a bitch. I wish more girls would think like this girl right here. As a woman who makes seven figures, like my money does not retain my relationship. Like my ability to, there you go. if he gets home at 6 a.m., me making breakfast when he gets home is what's retaining my retaining my relationship. Mm -hmm. It's never been my ability to, I'm, on, I'm a Forbes lister, top of my game, but that that doesn't retain my relationship. Me cooking from scratch three times a day retains my relationship Ooh, and retains okay. me going on three, three times a day. Not <laughs> yes, a week. from scratch. I was on Food Network, but like me being able to cook, me being able to upkeep our home and like putting labels on everything, doing weirdo organizing shit is what's retaining my relationship. It's not weird. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> That's a fact. Now, gentlemen, before I end this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me say this before I leave is that if you throw away traditional values, we will start to see society fall apart. Men don't respect men anymore. Men don't really want the women besides for a one night stand. No one's having children, no one's having families, no one's satisfied or fulfilled, which is why they wanna take drugs and do stupid things and degenerate themselves. And everything spirals into the other, right? Humans need higher purpose.